Hello, I'm Julian Moss, G4ILO, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the uh, software APRS ISCE to run on your PC. APRS ISCE is a program that lets you uh, view information about local amateur radio stations in your area and also to communicate with them over the radio. Uh, but in this video I will just show how to install the software and, and get it running. So the first step uh, really is to download the software. Uh, in order to do this you need to get it from the APRS ISCE Yahoo group and the easiest way to find that is just to type in APRS ISCE into Google and it will come up here. This is the, the Yahoo group that you want. You'll notice that there is also um, a wiki, welcome APRSISCE slash 32. Um, this is a good resource for help uh, with using the program. Um, but to actually get the software, you need to go to the Yahoo group, which we will now do. Uh, now, I'm already a member of the group and I'm signed in, but uh, because the, the software and the APRS system is only available to licensed radio amateurs, um, you need to join the group um, in order to uh, to get hold of the software and um, in order to uh, be admitted to the group um, you must tell the moderators your name and your call sign um, in the box where you're asked to, to give information about why you want to join the group. If you don't do that it will hold up your uh, admission procedure and you have to wait longer to download the software. Once you're a member of the group you can download it, download the software from the file section here in the group. And uh, if you look at the list of files, there are various uh, various versions here. This one, APRS ISCEP, um, is the Windows Mobile version. Um, this can only be installed on on various uh, Windows Mobile phones. But the um, the version you need for Windows PCs, uh, laptops, and so on is the release for Win32. Um, the current version is this one. Um, the file name obviously changes as new versions are released. It's just a zip file, so if you just click on there, then uh, the program is downloaded to your computer, and you can then open it, and uh, all that the zip file contains is an ex executable file. Um, there's no installer, so what you need to do next is to actually create a folder from which you want to run the program. And to do that, uh, go to your hard drive in uh, Explorer, and you need to create a folder. Now, what you must not do with this program is to install it under Program Files. Um, the reason for that is that Windows protects the, uh, the, the files that are created under that folder, and this will interfere with the um, ability of the program to maintain it, its configuration files and other data. So I recommend that you would um, create a, a new folder I always uh, put all my ham software, ham radio software, in a, in a subfolder called ham. Uh, and then from there, I will create another one, which I will call APRSISCE. And now I will drag the program into that folder. And uh, you can see it's now copied the uh, the executable file into the, into the folder I just created. So now all you need to do is to run it. Now you you're asked to enter a few questions. Um, the first thing you need to enter in is your call sign. So enter that in. Password. Um, you won't need a password for initially testing the program, but it will mean you'll only be able to read information from the internet network. You won't be able to actually um, send any information or uh, uh, send messages to stations, and your own uh, position won't show up uh, on the network. Um, I'll tell you how to get a password uh, a little bit later before the end of the, the video. But for the time being, uh, that's all you need to do. Just put in your, your call sign and then click Accept. Now that the, the, the program will start up, and uh, the program window has opened and uh, you can see that it's actually showing um, a map of the world 
with the laptop right at the centre. Um, now, first thing you probably need to do, just to be on the safe side, is to hit the right arrow key several times, at least ten times. Um, this will bring up the intensity of the map, which at, uh, by default is at about half intensity. It's at half intensity so that labels that come up on the map can be seen more easily. Um, but for the initial stage of actually setting your lo location, um, hit the right arrow key um, at least ten times to get the maximum intensity. Now you can actually zoom in. Um, so what you need to do is to bring your own location down to the where the crosshairs are. In order to do that you need to pan the map by just dragging it and also hit the up, up arrow key to zoom in until you can get your location as accurately as possible. Um, it just takes a few seconds uh, repeating the zoom and pan until uh, you can see your exact location. Because these maps are actually being downloaded automatically in the background from the internet on demand. Um, so, you see I'm now positioned at the centre of the cross here, exactly on uh, my location. And then click Transmit, which is this menu here. And it's now set, set my location. You can now see on the, uh, on the right here, uh, various stations have, have started to appear already on, on the map. If we zoom back out again, you'll start to um, actually see them appearing on the map. Um, and you are then able to configure various uh, options. Under screen, for example, you can show labels, uh, call sign, for example. Click, click that and the, the call sign of, of the stations that have, have appeared uh, will come up. So you can now start to experiment with the program. You can't do any harm with it. Um, it's not even, even connected, to, connected to the network. It's only receiving data from the network, but it's not sending any information to the network. Um, so there's nothing, nothing really to worry about. Um, have a play with it. Uh, you can see, uh, see all the various stations uh, coming up on the, uh, on the map. You can click them and you can get information about them. Uh, you can even uh, click the chat option and you can then chat over our APRS with these stations. Um, as I said, that won't actually work until you've got a password. So I will just uh, mention how you do that. Uh, going back to the um, to the group, if you go to the group's home page here, click on that, and then you will see at the uh, at the bottom of the home page, uh, list owner. If you send uh, an email to the list owner address, APRSCE owner at yahoogroups.com, giving your name and your call sign, uh, then Lynn, KJ4ERJ, the author of the program, or one of the moderators of the group, uh, will reply uh, with, with the password. You can then go back into the software on the configure option, configure general. You can type your password in there where it's minus one, um, and then you will have uh, right access as well. Your own position will start to appear uh, on other people's maps, and you will be able to uh, uh, communicate by APRS messaging with other users. So anyway, that in a nutshell is uh, how to install APRS IS32 on your computer. I hope you found that uh, easy to understand and I uh, hope you enjoy using the program.